gal pal yeah. pal. That's pottery? Yeah, it, look, it looks like it. Okay. We've had a lot of bones so far, a lot of calcine. Well good, so we, we named the feature so that you can... This is uh, UMaine's Northeast Archaeology Field School. What we do here is we bring students out to the site and do some excavations and learn the techniques of um, good uh, data recovery in terms of archaeological science. And so uh, one of the things that we emphasize here is good science and the students here will be able to take these methods and apply them in any kind of professional work that requires data collection or um, any kind of future research. You know, I, they're great students and I'm hoping that we'll get some graduate students uh, uh, doing some work based on this experience. Should we table this whole thing as like a whole section? Like yeah. just kind of as this oval table, that whole thing? Yep. Okay. okay. And yep. get a little bit closer to this until we find the perimeter? Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Looking good. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Bonnie. Mm -hmm. Seeing like the actual tools themselves, you kind of feel closer to the people that made them in a way. It's not just something you read about or something you've seen, it's something you've picked up and touched and you learn to appreciate it a little bit more. The focus here is more about the uh, artifacts that we find really shows us how the families interact, uh, not only with each other, but with the environment. So it's always been finding the connections about the human origins. I really like that. An arrowhead or spear point and it's broken and a lot of times what we get in these shellman deposits are broken artifacts because people have discarded them. I've been learning about this stuff like all my life especially from my dad who used to carry the Penobscot Nation Museum but really being here in the field has really helped me get a grasp of the archaeological method and specifically um, what all, all this stuff really looks like out when you dig it up. And it's, it's also been a really interesting experience working with the Passamaquoddy since that's where my grandmother is from and I've never really been to a reservation other than my own. <laughs> so that was neat. And archaeology is this one piece of kind of the understanding the culture, right? Um, and it's important for me that students realize that these folks are still here and they're still um, very engaged with their um, ancestral past. And that one's charred bone. Yeah, and this might be pottery. It's been humbling and it's been very enlightening because you know you can read all about archaeology, the theory, how to do it in practice, but it unless you go out and do it, you don't know what you're doing. You know, I took archaeology classes at UMaine and I thought I knew a lot and then I come out here and I'm questioning everything, you know, you kinda have to and it's been a great experience to do things hands on. It's like, kind of like a recipe. You can read a recipe as many times as you want, but until you get out there and actually make the cake or you know grill the steak, it, it, you don't know how to do it.